client is the most loyal, the most honest person I've ever met, and he is the greatest friend I've ever met. And those are actually the vows I had engraved on his wedding band that I made him, because I told him that he's all those things for me. So I, my vows to him is that I'm gonna be all those things to him. I'll always be loyal to him. I will always be honest with him. And I'll always be his friend. Well, she's the only person that I've met that I'm more comfortable with than when I'm by myself. It's kind of a weird thing to think about, but wherever she is, it's home for me. So, yeah, I love her. Wow. That is nice. What I do want to say is seven and a half years ago, we got a guest in her house for the first time, and it was Haley. And he, I kept asking him, kind of quizzing, you know, well, who is she in your life? And he was so nervous about talking about it, I knew she was very special in his life. Well, thankfully, it matured into a wonderful relationship with a wonderful family, and we are very happy to have you find the right person for your life. But more than anything, Ryan and me have been inseparable for our entire lives. I mean, there, there aren't friendships like this. There are not. You read about them, you hear about them, you see them on movies, but I've never found one like ours. Without her, I wouldn't be the woman that I am today. My sister is one of the most giving and kind people that I know. And therefore, she deserves a partner who is willing to give to her as much as she is willing to give to him. And Ryan tries really, really hard to make that happen. He had found somebody that instead of pushing him to experience new things, Ryan followed her willingly. He didn't have to make excuses because she was perfect. I woke up super anxious but excited but just like overwhelmed with emotions that I'm used to just pushing down and I'm just really excited to do my first look. I get to see him and then I feel like all the stress will just melt away and I'm really scared it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> I'm glad you gave me a chance. <laughs> and uh, I love you. On behalf of Haley and Ryan, it is my honor to welcome you to this beautiful spot and this wonderful celebration of their love and lifelong commitment to each other. None of you are here by accident. You sitting here today are the most important people and the people that Haley and Ryan hold dearest and most important and want you here to share in this moment in their lives. And uh, I, I told them, I said, you know, I got to tell you, I'm really super proud of you because there was a, a time when I first met him, he said, hey, I really want to work in aerospace. I said, you got to get your grades up, man. And I'll be damned if he didn't, and I've never seen that before, he raised his GPA up 
to, well, he's working for a very respectable aerospace company now. So, and his response to me was, without even hesitation was, well, I knew Haley was better than me, and I knew I had to become better to deserve her. So, what, what more can a father of a bride wish for than a comment? So, love you, man. Marriage is the ultimate of having each other's back. Each of you at times leading, at times following, always holding on to the other, never letting go of love, trust, respect, or each other's hand. Ryan and Haley alone are a beacon of confidence. For those of us who are fortunate enough to know them, we flock to them like a moth to the flame. I've never seen a partnership that exists in which each person complements the other so well. Separately, you, Haley, told me that you and Ryan have built your lives together with forever in mind. And Ryan, you told me that what you look forward most in this marriage is your 100th wedding anniversary. Haley and Ryan, having witnessed your vows before God and your family and friends gathered here today, and with the authority invested in me, it is my honor and joyful responsibility to officially declare you husband and wife. Now, you may seal that declaration with a kiss. Family and friends, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Haley Petz. Now I know Haley is now technically becoming a pet. However, you are still entering our family as well. And for those of you who don't know, we have what is called the inner circle in our family. We do not just let anyone into this group, and Ryan has gone through intensive testing and training for the Inner Circle over the last eight years. And we could not be more honored that you were the first to enter in. Today, you have entered in the Inner Circle. Congratulations to Haley and Ryan. I love you both. <laughs>